workout? We did. Sweated a lot for that one. This is the STF I've been using. It's really, really nice. It blends really well and it smells good. And it almost has a moisturizer finish, so it doesn't go on like white and chalky or anything like that. This is incognito. It's just a lip liner just to give me some color so I don't look dead. And then I'm just gonna do a little lip liner. I don't know why I'm doing makeup to go do farm chores, but whatever. This is all I need to do because my eyebrows are microbladed and my eyelashes are done. Super easy. We are going to now load up the goats and move them in the pickup truck. more pasture for them to roam and look at all the trees back there that they can eat so they should be happy here so now that we got the goats in the back pasture we're going back to the house to switch out our vehicle for the UTV and feed the sheep doesn't this look so pretty like a painting <laughs> other pasture over there are other 20 acres there's no water line and so Nate fills up these empty water jugs and takes it over there which is another reason why this UTV is so important so otherwise it'd be literally a workout every time to get them water which is what we used to do And then for the donkeys, they love this carrot and oat. These are some treats, so I'm gonna give them to eat. These are the newest additions to the farm. We've got two donkeys now. This is the girl, and this is the boy. Someone said that the way that her brown fur hits her body is like cinnamon sprinkle, and I really like that. Because it really does look like a cinnamon sprinkle. And then with donkeys, you just have to Oh, are you slowly pushing that gate open? <laughs> Can we not? It's like super satisfying. After I comb them, I give him treats. Morning chores are done. It is now 8.45, so it took about an hour and 45 minutes to do everything. Um, but yeah, usually it's something like this, and every day there's something different, so there you have it. Now I'm gonna get dressed back into the workout clothes and finish my workout, and then go to the sheep shop. <laughs> It was a body weight build, so everything was body weight 
and we did some fun circus tricks. Nate walked in halfway through and like watched me struggle, which is fine. Um, anyways, I have 15 minutes now to get ready. We are about to leave and I just packed myself a cooler of food. Basically, everywhere you go in Texas, things are very far away, at least an hour. So I got some fresh pineapple in here and a bento box with seaweed, a little bit of rice, and some veggie potato. It's called coroque. And then I also have a big thing of ice water in my hydro flask. And this thing is massive, but it's how much I need to drink a day times two. Oh, so cold and good. Okay. So why are we going to the sheep show? I, I want to get eyes on, you know, what these animals look like, one, what kind of prices they're bringing to, and then like what what traits and characteristics are, are, are the most desirable. Here we are, just at someone's barn. Ah! And then so Rockstar is a sire there, bringing $1,500. So this one is the $1,500 sheep. Okay, so we're leaving already, but basically they were bidding on all of those sheep and these are the starting prices and when we left they were saying like 3000 for one freaking sheep. So that is the show world, apparently, which is insane. I also hated that they were in like these head cages. I could just feel like it's not humane. Go into downtown Blanco. There's a place called uh, Herbs. Herb's hat shop and we'll get you we'll get you a new hat. And it has a That one's pretty good. This one's like kind of fits like the blood. It's pretty good. Do you like it? That's the one. And it's definitely got that cowboy shape, but it fits me really nice, so I'm gonna do like a sun test. It does shade my face, so I'm happy about that. <sighs> it is 2.20, and I feel like I've done a million and ten things. We also got to feed the goats, check on them, see how they're doing out there on the new, new area. Yeah, finish up some animal chores. So we're going to go back outside. I literally fell asleep in the car because I was so tired. I still feel really tired but we gotta keep going. The farm needs us, so yeah. having dinner over at Grove and it's 3.45 and we have a reservation at 4.30 for dinner. That's just how we roll. Nate's got two salads for himself. It is now 6.30 p.m. and Nate and I are gonna do the last round of farm chores make sure all the animals are good. So this is the third time Nate's filling up the water jugs, just trying to fill up that tank over there slowly. He does things in incremental baby steps. That's how he approaches anything in life. Normally I go out with Nate on like evening chores because I'll be like working inside all day. But today was exhausting. 
I am cutting some watermelon up because I'm just gonna go upstairs, watch the boys on Amazon Prime, and probably pass out <laughs> early tonight. So now I understand why Nate sleeps at 7.30. Makes a lot of sense. Let's try the watermelon. Wow, that is so good. It's really good. All right, guys, that is the end of the day. So I'm gonna log off, but I hope this gave you a glimpse into what taking care of a full-fledged farm is like. Um, and hope you enjoyed coming along with us. So see you in the next vlog. Bye. I couldn't wait to move. I had so much to prove. So I could.